Rebecca's trying to get me to do some exercises. Come on, Sid. Let's work those muscles. Oh, no. I've ripped my trousers. Oh, no. That's a shame. That means we're going to have to stop exercising. No, don't worry. I can repair them. You carry on. Do a few more squats. I think I might try a few eye exercises first. Ah, that's better. Right, I'll just get these sewn up. Oh, hold on, Rebecca. It's time! Great! <laughs> it's time to play! Whose turn is it today? Let it be me! Let it be me! 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 Let it be 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 me! Let, 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 let it be me! Let it be me, let it be me I really, 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 really hope that it's me Could it be me? Could it be me? It's me! Yes, yes, it's me I'm really, 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 really happy It's me! Look, there's the dressing up room this is really exciting. So, what are we playing today? Whoa! So I'm wearing a Roman's helmet, painter and decorator overalls, and flippers on my feet. What am I going to do with that? <laughs> this isn't right. So, this time I'm wearing a uniform and I have an apron with some scissors on. So, what are we playing today? Of course, we're going to be hairdressers. So, what do we need to know? Hairdressers cut and style people's hair. They work in shops called salons or go out and visit customers in their own homes. When they wash people's hair, hairdressers often use a specially shaped sink so the customers can lie back comfortably. When they cut hair, Hairdressers put a gown on their customers to stop their clothes getting messy. And when they have finished a haircut, the hairdresser will often show the customers what they have done using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. So that's what we need to remember. Do we need anything else? Whoa! <laughs> a handy grabber! I wonder what we're going to need this for. I guess we'll find out. So we've got everything we need. Let's go. Let's play. Look, Rebecca, I'm going to be a hairdresser. Oh, great. Have you stopped exercising? Yes, I tried to fix my trousers. But look, I didn't do a very good job. I'm going to have to try again. Good luck. See you soon. See you later. Let's play. Come on, let's play hairdressers. Right, so where are we? Oh, look, a hairdresser's. This is the place. Hello? Anyone here? Oh. Hello? <gasps> oh, sorry. I didn't mean you to scare you. You want your haircut? Oh, no. Please, this yeah. way. Oh, no. Now I want a cut for you. Uh, uh, shop back inside? Oh, no, what I was trying to oh, say to you... Oh, please, I must do something. Your hair, it needs so much work. <laughs> OK, we start with a little cutting and see where we get. No, you don't understand. I'm a hairdresser. Are you? Oh, thank goodness. Oh. Oh. 
I thought you were a customer. Oh, thank goodness you are here. We have a lot of customers wanting the air doing today. Oh, great, I'm Sid. Oh, pleased to meet you, Sid. I am Madame Fufu. Now let me show you around. Here is where we make the teas and coffees. And there we have the magazines and the lovely biscuits. Because we must keep the customers happy, Sydney. Very happy. <laughs> no problem. And we have a very important customer coming in today. The mayor. You must do a very lovely job for the mayor. But now I must go and have a little rest. Oh, wait. I'm not doing all the customers on my own, am I? Oh, yes, my darling. I am very, very tired. <laughs> Right, so that must mean I'm in charge then. And he's my first customer. Come in. No, it must be the blue with the sequins. May I help you? Question is, may I help you, madam? What? Look, I'm going to have to call you back. I have a man here. What seems to be the problem? Uh, no problem. Are you the mayor? It's an honour to meet you, your highness. No, I'm not the mayor. And who are you? I'm Sid. I'm doing the hair today. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. I need to look very nice today, as I'm going to a special party. Ah, not a problem, madam. What would you like done? I want it washed, I want it dried, and I want an updo. You want an updo? I do. You do do updos, don't you? Do we? I guess we do. I suppose she wants me to put her hair up. I can do that, I think. <laughs> this way, madam. Let's play! I just need to wash your hair first. If you could lean over here... Here? I think so. Won't be long. Ah! Oh, it's gone down the back of my neck. I'm soaked. Oh, no. This is all going horribly wrong. Why is she getting wet? Oh, hold on. I remember, do you? When washing hair, hairdressers use a specially shaped sink so their customers can lie back comfortably. I'm awfully sorry, madam. I should be washing your hair in a specially shaped hairdresser sink instead. Please, it's this way. Let's play! Just this way. This is where we wash your hair. Sit down, please. Thank you. There we are. And uh, lay back here. Lovely. There we are. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh, another customer. Excuse me, madam. But uh, my hair! Hello. <laughs> How may I help you? I just need a little trim. No problem. You're not the mayor, are you? The mayor? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I just need a haircut. I'm going to a very special party and I need to look really good. Everyone's going to a party today. Walk this way, sir. Here goes. So, are you watching the game this weekend, sir? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, oh! Bless you. <laughs> hey, man, the hair's falling in my face. Oh, right. Sorry. Uh, there we go. Uh, what are you doing, man? I'm cutting your hair. Don't you like it? It's going all over my clothes. Oh, dear. Uh -huh. Sorry. Um, well, maybe if you tilt your head to the side. Uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, yes, OK. Uh, oh, no. What am I going to do? Um, uh, oh, I remember. Do you? Hairdressers put a gown on their customers to stop their clothes from getting messy. I need to find a gown. Great idea, man. Ah, there we are. Now your clothes won't get messy. Where were we? Sid! <gasps> oh, the woman. I forgot about her. Um, right, excuse me. I'll be back in a moment. No problem, man. Hello, madam. Where have you been? Oh, sorry for the wait. I just need to dry your hair. Hold on tight. Done. Don't do it like that. That's how I dry my hair. Use a dryer. Oh, yes. Good idea. This is fun. Will this take long? Pardon? I said, will this take long? Oh, no time at all, madam. Oh, except there's another customer. Won't be a moment. But wait! My hair! Can I help? Oh, I'd like to get my hair done, please. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do your hair for you, but I'm going to have to be quick. The mayor is due any moment. <clears throat> I am the mayor? You are. Of course you are. Your Majesty, I am honoured. I'm here to get my hair done, please, as I'm going to a party. Another person going to a party? 
I was getting myself ready and decided to put a bit of colour in my hair. But it went a teensy, weensy bit wrong. I see. Promise you won't laugh. I promise. We could take care of that for you, Your Worship. No problem. This way, please. I just need to wash your hair first. Sir? Oh. Except I've got another customer. Oh, you... I'm, I'm actually... Yeah, I... magazine. <laughs> Sorry about the wait. Right. I need to do the back of your hair. And I'll use the clippers for that. If you could just lean forward. Oh, sorry about that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be too long, sir. <laughs> Sid, where are you? Uh, back in a moment. <laughs> sorry, madam. Very busy. I can finish you now. I just need to uh, put your hair up a bit. Sid! Oh, the mayor. Hello, madam. Oh, mayor. Uh, purple hair. Uh, right, Mr. Wash. Sid! Uh, oh, oh, uh. Wait! Oh, I have a lovely rest. Sid, what is going on? Yeah, lots of people, no time. Uh, relax, Sydney. A good dresser is always very calm. Now breathe. OK, there are lots of customers and I, I can't do it because... You OK, go... no problem. I will see to it. You deal with the gentleman and I will deal with the mayor and the other lady. It will all be perfect. OK, thank you. Thank you, Madam Fruit Fruit. Thank you. Calm. <sighs> Um. <sighs> Hello, sir. I can finish your hair now. Great. But please be quick. The party starts soon. I can do quick. <laughs> there. Done. I'll just turn you to the mirror, sir. Wow. I look great. Uh, can you show me the back? Of course. But now I can't see the mirror. Oh, sorry. But now I can't see the back. Oh, right. I'll tell you what. I'll turn you slowly while you try to take a look. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Oh, no, man. Too far. OK, um, I know. I'll turn you quickly while you have a glimpse. Hold on tight. Ready? Go! Oh, that didn't work either. Oh, no. This isn't working. What am I going to do? How am I going to show the customer what I have done? Hold on, I remember. Do you? When they finished a haircut, hairdressers often show the customer what they have done by using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. I need a hand mirror. There you are. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're done. Let's play. See you next time, sir. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> One happy customer. Sydney, well done. <laughs> I have also seen to the mayor, and the hair now looks fabulous. Oh, is it still purple? No, it is lovely, big and brown. Oh, great. We are doing well. <laughs> How do I look? You look magnificent. Thank you. Oh, don't forget your scarf. Oh, I shan't be needing that, dear boy. I want to show off my hair, not hide it. You have it. Oh, that's very kind of you. Enjoy yourself at the party. I will. <laughs> Toodle pip. <laughs> Two happy customers. Ah, oh, Sid. Madam, you look fabulous. Yes, Madam Fru Fru finished me off, and now I'm ready for the party. Thank you for all you did. Oh, it was nothing. Yes, I know, but you tried your best. Bye. Great. Now I'd better say goodbye to Madame Fru Fru. OK, my darling. I will say my best hairdresser. Best hairdresser? <laughs> Is that me? OK, bye-bye, darling. Oh, Sid, uh, that was Mrs Prendergast, one of my oldest customers. She wants her hair doing at home. Oh, don't worry, you can leave it to me. I'll be on my way. Is the hairdressing equipment? Bye-bye. Bye. Let's play! Oh, uh, hello. Mrs Prendergast, I'm Sid. I've come to do your hair. Oh, how lovely. Uh, I've been expecting you. Come on in. Thank you. Right, I'm ready. Uh, shampoo and set, please. No problem. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, that? Uh, it's just a little cake I made. It's 
my 90th birthday today. 90? Well, happy birthday, Mrs P. Are you having a party? Uh, oh, no, just a quiet one. I don't think anyone knows it's my birthday. Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to make sure she feels really special. Will you just sit back and relax, Mrs P? This won't take long. Let's play! Almost finished. Just one last curler to put in. <gasps> Oops! Where did it go? Over there, I think. Oh, I hope it hasn't landed in your cake. Oh, no, there it is. It's wedged behind the sideboard. I can't quite reach it. Oh, no. How am I going to grab the curler? Hold on, I know what we can use. Do you? We can use this. Right, if I can just reach down, then maybe I can... Ah! Yes! Got it. Oh, you are clever, Sid. Thanks, Mrs P. Now I can finish her hair. Oh, it looks lovely, Sid. Have a lovely day, Mrs Prendergast. Oh, I will. I'll have a little bit of cake with a nice cup of tea. Well, you have a great birthday. Oh, uh... Don't get up. Bye. Let's play. What a nice lady. It's a shame no one's doing anything for her birthday, though. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, uh, Sid, isn't it? What are you doing here? I've just been doing a lady's haircut. I thought you were going to a party. I am. A surprise party. Here. <gasps> for Mrs Prendergast. Oh, she thought everyone had forgotten her birthday. Forget her 90th birthday? No fear. <gasps> She's my mum and I'm throwing her a surprise party. Your mum? She will be pleased. <gasps> surprise! What's this? Happy birthday, Mummy. You didn't think I'd forgotten, did you? For me? How lovely. So Mrs Prendergast doesn't have to spend her birthday alone after all. Oh, and who's this I see? Oh, hello, Sid. I've come for the surprise party. Oh, you're here to celebrate her birthday too? Of course. I'm providing the music. <laughs> She's my great aunt. <laughs> well, you better come on in as well. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> oh, and who's this I see? Hello, Mayor. I suppose you're going to Mrs Prendergast's party as well? Of course. She was my old school teacher. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Well, what a day it's been. But we'd never have managed without remembering everything we needed to know. A hairdresser uses a specially shaped sink to wash their customers' hair. They use a gown to cover them to stop their clothes getting messy. And when they have finished a haircut, the hairdresser will often show the customer what they have done using a hand mirror so they can see the back of their head. Oh, well, I think it's time we went home. It's been lovely having you, Sid. You really have been a wonderful hairdresser. Oh, thank you. Bye. Doodle pup. <laughs> Rebecca, I had the most fun being a hairdresser. Good. Maybe you can do my hair for me now. Why not? So what have you been doing? Well, nothing really. I was just about to throw away my trousers. Why? I tried to mend them, but look, it didn't really do the trick. Oh, aha. I have something that may help. A scarf? Well, you can use it as a patch for your trousers. Great idea. They'll be as good as new. <laughs> Playing hairdressers was great fun. What do you like to play? Let's play. We love to play rowers and row our boat like this. I love to play monsters and I like to pull scary faces. Arrgh. When I play Roman soldiers, I manage like this. Hello my fairy friends, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click here or here to watch more of your favourite videos right here on ZK Junior. Bye bye.